What's going on guys? King Shrats here back in the video on the channel and Big Back season is in full effect, man. They got a lot of new stuff coming out. So much to the point that I got myself up at 7 o'clock in the morning to try this Wendy's new Cinnabon pull apart. They did a collab with Cinnabon. I love Cinnabon, so I got up nice and early just to try this for y'all. Drop a thumbs up. If you don't hit that thumbs up, I'm so tired right now. But here we are. I'm in the parking lot of Wendy's. There's probably people staring. I don't really care because it's too early for me. And I got it right here in my hand. Now, it is... I mean, this look kind of lazy. I'm not going to lie to you, but here we go. That is what it looks like. Now, I when in the commercial, it just looked like it was spread apart a little bit more. But it just looks like a nice little Cinnabon with that Cinnabon icing just dopped right in the middle, almost like butter that we know and love. It costs $3.79, and it came right out. There was no wait time, which is a good thing. I'm just going to dig right into this thing. I'm not going to hold y'all. All right, let's pull one out. So there is a little piece of the pull apart. I'm going to try a little bit with icing and without just to see what it tastes like because I thought it was going to be spread out a lot more, but it's not. All right, we're going to have to work with something here because I'm just going to dunk it right in the icing. There we go. I mean, the icing is what you expect. Definitely has that Cinnabon flavor to it because it is, in fact, Cinnabon. The marketing is there. Therefore, we know that they're not using some kind of cheap substitute. The issue that I kind of have with this, this is going to be a little messy, but... One, you barely get any icing with it. Now, that's going to be largely indicated by which franchise or which Wendy's location you go to. And I don't know. I feel like I'm going to try to grab one of these from the bottom. I'm just going to take this whole thing out. All right, there's the whole thing. So that's what it looks like. Honestly, it's probably better like this. That's what it is. I would just eat it like that. The pull-apart part ain't pulling apart, but mine, at the very least, just tastes a little undercooked. That just might be a user error. The thing that you want to know, does it taste like a Cinnabon? Absolutely. Is this something that I would get, but I wouldn't go out of my way to get it? Like, it's really not that great. Is it as good as a Cinnabon? No. It just tastes like an undercooked thing with Cinnabon icing. I like it. I don't love it. I had much higher expectations, and I'm kind of let down. But I'm be completely honest with you, that might also be because it's early as hell in the morning and I'm grumpy. Very possible. <laughs> but still, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. Now, being that it is this early, I'm going to put this away. There is actually something new at Dunkin' Donuts as well. So there's Dunkin' Donuts right now here. I'm going to drive over there. I'm going to grab those. And I'm going to try those out. And we're going to have a little conversation. Now I'm outside Dunkin' Donuts. We have two different items. One is a churro donut. I don't know which one is which. Now, this is the churro donut. So... God, Dunkin' Donut. <laughs> I picked it up. I swear to you, it broke in my hand when I picked up the donut. Okay, so Dunkin' Donuts has a churro donut, which obviously has some cinnamon sugar, and it's going to be all over my car, and I'm going to be upset about it, but that is what it looks like. I'm not saying. Y'all gonna think I'm being negative. I'm gonna take another bite. Hold on. That's all I need. I see what they were going for. Cinnamon sugar on the donut. The inside definitely has that churro kind of taste to it. The problem is, I think, I hope that, I don't know if they were trying to do this. But the donut also has a crunchy churro-like texture, which just doesn't scream donut. It screams stale donut. And I don't know how I feel about that. On first bite, I was really appalled. And then on the second bite, I was like, this actually isn't that bad. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. It kind of, it had me in the first half. I'm not going to lie. Do I love the donut? No. But I was ready to throw it out the window until I thought, hey, it's a churro. That might be what they're going for. If that, in fact, was what you were going for, you succeeded. Great job. Is that a donut that I want to eat when I go get a donut? No, but I see why you did it. So I'm not going to be too harsh, but to me, I don't want a stale, textury donut. 
I would have just liked churro flavor in like a nice cake-like or even like a soft airy donut, but not that. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I'm going to be nice because I see what you were doing. With that being said, let's move on to the next item. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't even know this was a thing, but when I went to get my churro donut, this was on the menu. This is a breakfast empanada. Stop being negative, bro. Okay. I don't know what's in it, to be honest. I guess you could... Oh, my God. I think it's sausage, egg, and cheese. It's cold. It's fucking cold. I'm sorry for cursing. I'm not joking with you. I swear to... No. I'm outside of Dunkin' Donuts. You don't believe me? I am literally outside of Dunkin' Donuts. I'm outside of Dunkin' Donuts. I swear to you, it is ice cold in the middle. It's freezing cold. I mean, to the touch, cold, bro. Oh my good, bro. I'm not one of those people not gonna go in there and make a scene, but you gotta be kidding me. She would have smiled and handed me a cold empanada. Out to whatever they put this out of. There's a warm part. I'm gonna try to bite this. It's, it's cold. I swear, I'm not even trying to be funny, bro. That's so messed up. It's cold. The whole thing is cold. Okay. Well, I'm going to be honest about this. I'm, I'm a little annoyed that it's cold. They seem like nice people. I'm not going to go in there and make no scene because it's a, it's, a, it's a $4 empanada. But the outside, like the empanada wrap, is buttery and it's good. No joke. The inside is ice cold, but it's like eggs and sausage and it tastes like fake eggs and sausage and it's not that great. But that empanada wrap had me going. Because that's also the warm part. I actually think that if they heated this up all the way through, it wouldn't be half bad, but they didn't do that. Oh, man. That's crazy. America runs on Dunkin'. How you can give me a cold empanada, bro? It's freezing cold. That's crazy. All right. If it was warm, I'd probably give it like a six. It's cold. It gets a three. If you get yours warm, you probably like it more than me do. But I'm, again, being 100% real, that wrapper part, W. Since I'm sitting home, sitting in this parking lot, I'm gonna get where I gotta get, but I wanna talk to y'all about something real quick. So, I got my cold brew. This is just black iced coffee. I got some work to do. I'm gonna go home, but I'll have a conversation with y'all beforehand. Normally, I don't do that with the car, but there's a topic that kind of got to me. I'm gonna talk about it when I get back. All right, I'm back. I got my cold brew. All right, I just gotta bring this up. I wanna talk about it. Cam Newton, did y'all see the footage on Cam Newton? I can't show you the footage on here, but I'm gonna show you a screenshot. Cam Newton got jumped at a seven on seven tournament that he was at, or I think he was playing in it. I don't know all the details, but I did see the fight. And it's just two parts that I want to address. Number one, and this is something that I was addressing, but a week ago when I was talking about people kind of like why I'm so private about certain things. And I'm not saying I'm Cam Newton. I'm, not, I'm just saying anytime that you're in a position that he's in, people are going to try you. Whether you get into a debate, and I know Cam Newton's kind of like a, a loquacious, you know, he's talkative, little boisterous type of person. He may rub people the wrong way. But I don't think at any point in my entire knowledge of him, which goes back to when he was in college in the early 2010s, has he ever been a person to instigate a fight? Which leads me to believe that somebody probably got a little, little butthurt about something, and it looked like maybe three or four people tried to jump him. And when I say tried, I mean tried, which we'll get into in a second. But this is the kind of thing that I was kind of addressing where why a lot of people in certain, when you get to a certain status where you're kind of like a, a public figure, for lack of better words, you have to protect yourself because people will try you. They're going to try to do some funny stuff. And unfortunately, that looks like that was the case with him. Again, I know he's a talkative person, but I doubt he was trying to start a fight. So I just kind of wanted to address that because it just like, I was just like, see, this is why I'd be trying not to, you know, be out there and stuff like that. But part two, and this is the more funnier part, is the jokes on you kind of thing, because Cam is 6'5", all of, I know he played at about 240. He might be bigger than that now. He ain't a little dude. At one point, he's about 260, and he looks every bit of it. And if you've ever seen him in a football uniform, etc. So when he got jumped... <laughs> it didn't work out the way that they thought it was. And uh, it looked like two or three tried to hit him with a sucker punch, but he kind of ate all of those. And then he had one hemmed up and another one was held back. He looked like he was like Iron Man or something at this point. So the legend of Cam Newton only continues to grow because of it. So you made him more popular and more viral for the wrong reasons because three people couldn't take him down. And that's kind of what it looks like. So sometimes you might want to F around and find out. And I know people think Cam, because they ain't even knock his hat off. You never know how Cam Newton is. And it's in the video. He got a little top hat on. 
and you know got the dreads hanging out the top and um his hat stayed on the whole time only other person i ever seen do that was ti and that was a long time ago ti had never went over his head you, you know you know but um yeah that that was kind of what i wanted to address and and the the thing i wanted to say about it imagine i think people think because cam's eccentric you know cam is his own person he got, he got a little image the cigars the hats the dreads they might think he a little funny or like he's not really with it just because of an outward shell, but they still forget that he's like 6'5", 240. So sometimes people think that people, cause like you think that just cause don't, don't let the clothes fool you with certain people. And I'm just going to leave it at that. But I, I, I just saw that and I wanted to really talk about it. You know, normally I wouldn't talk about it in a video like this, but the news just got to me like before I went to sleep last night and then, Oh, here we are. So I just wanted to address it, man. Shout out to Cam Newton. He was one of my favorite quarterbacks in the 2010s. Um, and, you know, I'm glad that he was safe and that he could defend himself and it didn't turn into anything worse than that because that's the biggest fear. You know, as much as you can fight or whatever, you ain't scared. At the end of the day, you're not bulletproof. So um, that's going to be the end of the video. The food, for the most part, was a little bit of a letdown. Nothing like super you got to go and get. Not the biggest fan of Dunkin' anyway other than the coffee, but... I don't know. Anyway, I love y'all, man. Thank y'all for watching. And we'll be back tomorrow. More content, man. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.